Hi, Dan. Daniel. You all yeah. right, Vicky? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm not much. <laughs> Daniel is 31. He had to stop drumming in his band and give up work as an engineer after developing problems with his speech, memory and basic motor skills. If you could just describe to me what it's like in some way, if that's possible. Um, it's a difficult day to day because certain things happen every day, me forgetting what I've done. Yeah. Um, and also what I have to do. Yeah. And it gets a bit overwhelming for me. Yeah, generally it's quite hard to be in social environments and things like that. Daniel's father died when he was just 36, and doctors only discovered this rare genetic Alzheimer's had been the cause when they diagnosed Daniel he had inherited the faulty gene. For someone of Dan's age, the lifespan's about four, you know, four years from diagnosis. And it's pretty scary to hear that. You just feel a little bit hopeless, don't you? It's just hard to watch somebody so young, fit and healthy have all these symptoms. Daniel and Jordan have two-year-old twins, Jasper and Lola. Daniel was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's shortly after their first birthday. The likelihood of them inheriting this is 50-50. There will come a time when our children get tested. We both want them in that time for things to have moved so far that if they are diagnosed with having this gene, that there is at least some sort of treatment that will give them longer Absolutely. life than being diagnosed with dementia at 30. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. The twins can decide if they want to be tested when they're 18. What is on the bucket list? There's a few things. There's a few things that we can't, money can't buy. Like, there's seeing the kids go to the first day of school. So that's on there. So we're working towards that, aren't we? Um, I'm going to get upset thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, a few things. We're going on holiday, aren't we? We're doing a few things. You know, we're not giving up. We're not giving up. There's nothing I can really say that will make the situation OK. You know, they're just two young people. You know, he looks healthy, fit, young lad. You know, it's, it's so bloody cruel. 87-year-old Morris has been singing for over 60 years and as a boy performed for the Queen and Princess Margaret. 1956, annual dinner. Really? Yeah, on the back there, look. Morris Keeling, tenor, Pauline oh, yeah. Laybourne. That was my partner, Pauline Bertha, yeah. And then this other one I found. <laughs> you remember that one? Sheep is creepy, didn't it? Really nice. I look that rough. <laughs> What a mouth up there. I mean, you, you can get a tramp bus down there. <laughs> Today, I will get to hear how Morris sounded in his prime. That's the real deal. His wife, Karen, has found some old records that he hasn't heard in years. Yeah. That's yeah. you. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Uh, uh, 17, 18 here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, listen to that voice. Yeah, How does that feel, Morris? No, it's... Wow. You didn't know I found it. I didn't know. I didn't know you'd got it. <laughs> it's all meant to be. What an incredible voice. But, yeah, I was lucky with the voice, I suppose. Wonder. 
Morris Morris will have times where he'll say, why can't I remember things? Why can't I do this? I oh, can yeah, remember all that. Um, because I can say something to Morris and within seconds he's forgotten what I've said. And you know then that that part is never going to come back. It's yeah. as though each time you're saying it, it's for the first time. And, and in the same breath, it seems like the really old memories yeah. and the memories that are sort of way back in the past, mm. you really do remember. I do mm. remember a lot of them, yeah. yeah. It made him so happy. Because Morris has got an emotional connection to these songs from years ago because so many memories and moments and feelings attached to it and all he kept saying is it's really nice. I think Morris is a great example as to why music therapy is so important and in some ways a lifeline. <laughs>